Hey everybody, welcome back to Tam tonight. I know it has been a minute, but I've been posting on YouTube every day, so it hasn't been a minute. Like it's just been a minute since y'all like heard me talking about music that I love. Um, I've been trying to do a lot more interviews, so like please watch those, support those. I'm trying to get more artists in the show of all you know varieties caliber so help your girl out watch those reviews even if you don't watch like leave a comment thumbs up real quick you know for the gang so i had the pleasure of listening to 3000 degrees by amber with all of you i hope you all streamed if you haven't pause this go stream it right now then come back so we can talk you know educated conversation about this anyways i got to see amber perform Oh my God, I'm doing it again. Like a damn tourist. Her name is Ombre, okay? I be saying Ambre all the time, you know, like a substitute teacher. So Ombre, I had the pleasure this weekend um, of seeing Jane Doe in concert and she brought out Ombre for their song together, Chop and Screw. And I was like, again, whoa, my girl really is talented. And on the way out, I saw her, uh, so let me back it up. I'm in line for Jane Doe at the Moroccan Lounge, downtown LA. I see a girl swoop by and she's a familiar girl, like a familiar face, right? So I tell my brother like, okay, I think that's uh, Destin and Ombre's friend because I saw her backstage. She was like helping the fans or whatever. So I feel like one of them is gonna pop out. And I did not know at the time, but I knew when I saw that girl, like I didn't know if they were gonna just be there to support their friend, Jane, or like if somebody was gonna perform, but I knew that something was going on, you know? A little bit of inside information for being in the streets, boom. So I'm going inside, I'm already excited. Boom, she brings Ombre out. They perform, chop and screw. Boom, she brings Destin out. Oh my God, I got a twofer. And then I'm leaving with my little brother because I like to leave a little bit early, like before the last song, because you know, the crowd, all that I'm trying to get back to my car. I've been in a lot of shootout situations and you know, I'm traumatized, so I get out of there. And Ombre and Destin are standing like in the back adjacent to the door and I had to tap her and be like, girl, I love the new project because I really, really do. You know, I just had to let her know. And she was like scared, you know, because maybe I could have been trying to rob her. She don't know. And she was like, oh, thank you again. Sweet, just like the first time. And I could like crop in a little video of her being nice to the fans backstage and hugging me for no reason. I was filming. She is just a sweetheart. That's that NOLA energy, though. And NOLA is my favorite city in America. So keeping with the vibes. One day I'm going to get my courage up. Like this is the second time I've seen both of them, Destin and Ombre. I'm gonna get my courage up on the third time to ask him like, will you be on the show? You know, even if it's just a little drop, like, hey, this is Destin, you watch the tail tonight, hey, this is Ombre, you watch the tail tonight, I gotta get something, you know? I don't wanna go full stalker, but, you know, I'm gonna try to work things out. Anyways, on to the project. It has eight songs, it's short, sweet. I've been replaying it a lot because it's so short, but in the ADHD times of today, you can't be releasing a long project. So I feel it and I'm not gonna complain. Number one, three peat. I'm back in New Orleans, my people think I'm rich now. You all know in the black community, if you do anything, if you get a, even a little bit, tiny bit popping, people feel like, oh, you got something, let me borrow something, let me hold something. My car broke down, my baby needed, you know, a box of diapers, like my grandma was sick. So I cannot imagine what Ombre is going through. She be all over the place. So I know people are trying to hit those pockets stay you know calm stay yourself learn how to block it how you can i can't imagine i know it's hard but just don't let it mess up your energy you have really good nice sweet pure energy i don't want the begging to break you down girl she goes on murder my ego made my anxiety sit down now i got time to kill Woo! bars this song is so good it's like, it's one of my top three on this project. I love it, love it, love it so much. You remind me of an old flame. I remind you of a G. I'm from Uptown, baby. Yes, ombre. This song is so bomb. It may get hot, but if, you know, if it like home, it's all I know. Because New Orleans does get hot. I have sweated out all of my edges. Weaves, whatever, just walking around, trying to be cute. Ain't working, you should get braids. Song number two. This is my top favorite period it's gonna go in my ombre playlist of like just her songs that i love wildlife my goodness gracious i had the opportunity to see the song live a few months back when i went to the big fem energy event with tiana taylor sponsored by uh fem it forward and the beautiful and talented heather laurie 
incredible event, great show, very small, intimate, and cute. And I was kind of taken aback because Ombre usually gives us like chill vibes, you know, t-shirt, jeans, hat type of thing. She was out there full rock star mode, leather, okay, gloves, diamonds on, dread slicked. Like she was really giving what needs to be given. I was like, oh my God, like look at you being fine. Okay, I see you out here. You know, woof. And I was like standing backstage because I was trying to give the skateboard that I made to Tiana Taylor. And some of Ombre's fans were back there as well. And she came out and I was recording because like I do my vlog and she gave me a hug too. So I was like, did I just get a hug without having a bag? Jesus, is that you? I was so, so, so happy. Why? I thought it was called Wild at the time, but it's actually Wildlife. And even when I heard it live, I was like, what is this song? I was trying to look for it on Apple Music. was not there. I was hurt. I was distraught. And then she was always a new song. So it being on here and being number two, The Flow, Incredible, Wildlife is that girl's my favorite song off the project. And you know how I feel about songs that I really, really love. We got to do a spoken word style. So here we go. I was in this situation. Every night, new lituation. Every combo is the same. You're just trying to get situated. Oh, you from Vegas. Do you live a wild life? I'm in my zone. Come be in my time. Oh, oh. That's also why I'm wearing this dress. This dress was purchased for Jasmine's fake mexico birthday we did not end up going you know so i had all these clothes i did a full haul like three boxes deep and this was one of the dresses so i can't wear it in mexico so i'm wear it here and you know my ass does not fit in the dress now so you know it's here but here we are we're giving it to y'all wildlife i don't want to ruin our exchange running in this train in a rush to be claimed taking trust to the bank you have words for me and you demonstrate through body language. We don't really say shit, but we conversate. My God. Now, for my favorite part of the song, because I relate to this, I feel seen by this. You can't love me, that's a bet. Can't get in my head. Open your mouth, making rash decisions now. We had the DJs before we had the club. Move to the crib for somebody shoot it up, a. Eh? I was a young and not turned down. Now I'm grown up. Whoa. Like I said, I leave the concerts early because I've been in a lot of shootout situations. And it's like, it's not like I'm scared that a shootout's gonna happen there, but you never know because I was in other places and I didn't think a shootout was gonna happen, and it did. So, you know, children of the hood unite. This song is bomb, bomb, bomb. Pause this, go to the wildlife, come back. Now, this is my third favorite song on the project. Right now, this goes Wildlife, Three Peat, I'm Baby. I'm Baby featuring Jack James, and you know I love me some Jack James. His cover of Come Over by Aaliyah has me in a sleeper hold, all right? That song is incredible. So him being a feature on here with the smoothest of Ombre's voice as well just does everything for me <sighs> i love it when you call me baby love it when you call me baby is my like what and then she's like turn around be submissive even though you know i talk big shit and that creep shit i'm attentive i love it when you call me baby i'm baby like me i'm baby who so sexy Tonight, I'm finna let you do the honors, but you gotta bless your plate. What? And then on Twitter, because I follow Ombre, she said that this is her gayest project yet, or queerest, I don't know if I'm using the right word. I'm gonna put the tweet up. And I was like, what does that say about me? Because I really love this. Anyways, outro, spell New Orleans style with the French. It's a very cool vibe. Uh, 30 seconds, short, sweet. Oh, I forgot to tell y'all at the end of Wildlife, Somebody mama was like, I can't really tell you about the DJs because I always got shot up, but it was always Pat. Word. And outro, I think, I could be wrong, has a Andre 3000 sample from Party by Beyonce when he's like, I ain't worried about them fuck nigga over there, but they worry about me. That's what I hear on this. So let me know in the comments or something if I'm wrong, but that's where I think it's from. Then we go into Illusions featuring Bean and Destin Conrad. This song is bomb. It has like a variation of vibe, 
like it's giving a Travis Scott type of feeling at the beginning and then Destin comes on and he sings and he just wraps up my heart and my soul and again I feel sexy and that's why we dress like this wildlife illusions though is tight because it has like the Travis Scott and then Ombre comes in and she's like nobody knows me like my nigga wanting to go to war for you and to die with you like I don't know if I want to die but I would prefer if you know if Frank can't die before me I would prefer that we like die at the same time you know so I don't got to worry about it I don't got to deal with that pressure you know it's been a long time I've been dating this person since I've been 15 I'm about to be 30 next year so I ain't trying to think about that shit you feel me so illusions I get it girl I get it superstitious now superstitious could easily be number four for the favorites i when i heard this i was like i know beyonce liked this song if anybody played it for her find her play it for her immediately i know that she would love this i kind of kind of no shade to ombre because i love you i love your voice on this i kind of want to hear beyonce sing it because this is her vibe you know if you if you if you beehive people know what i'm talking about you know that this is a beyonce ass song superstitious 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 get the fuck around me only real surround me I... what it is like whimsical hood girl music like and i don't know nobody that has done that before besides scissor so ombre my chest my chest you know what we might have to move three p down i really like three p though we have to move three p down because we are gonna have wildlife first then I'm baby because I'm baby. And then superstitious and then 3P. Like superstitious and 3P could be here, but superstitious is just too sexy of a song. Superstitious, superstitious, superstitious. Woo! I feel like I just caught a spirit, you know? Bomb song. Draking and driving. Now, I, as an average Drake fan, previous time, have been accused on many a girl's night out of drinking and driving. Like Jasmine, again, for the fake Mexico trip. She's also on the Maroon 5 concert vlog if you want to see her. Jasmine used to pull up on me and be like, uh-uh, bitch, none of that Marvin's room. We ain't, we ain't doing that tonight. We turning up. So, Ombre, I'm here with you, and I feel the drinking and driving. I love all the references in the song. I also love how the engineer or, you know, whoever's in charge of that kind of has her voice sounding Drake-ish on parts of the song and she's making Drake references. Very, very cool song. Any girl, anybody for real of a certain age has Drake and Drive and it's, I don't know if it's dangerous. It could be like if you're crying and it's raining or something, not to tell my business, but you know, everybody's Drake, Drake and Drive. And then I also saw her on Twitter say, Drake and Drive part two, like question mark, yes, give it to us. And maybe you could make it sadder or we could be turned up. It's up to you though. Because you know, Drake and Drive, it could go either way. It could go, it could go, I'm a pop star, not a doctor, Drake. It could go way too sexy, Drake, you know, in too deep. Or it could go Marvin's Room. It could go sooner than later type sadness, you know? So pick, we already got this one. This one is chill, so you can go either way. And then finally, to close it out like only a New Orleans native could, Ombre got a J Electronica feature. I have loved J Electronica since I was a young girl, okay? And I also love his mysterious elusive nature these days. And I like that he likes my tweets when I talk about him, when I post about him, okay? So like, he ain't, he's living like off the beaten path like he's living on the fringe but he's still around he still sees things so jay electronica i love you i appreciate you i hope to meet you in the future have maybe i don't know you could sign a t-shirt or something i get a vinyl i don't know but to me you are a rap great you are a rap god and yeah just give him respect also a new orleans native and we're gonna read jay electronica's verse like spoken word because it is spoken word let's get into it teardrops on my face again i'm staring out the window pianissimo i wish for but the raindrops just crescendo that is a music reference sometimes it feel like purgatory dangling in limbo if you don't keep it sturdy you'll get tangled when the wind blow 
The beaten path was best. I took the land, not many men go. With hopes to meet Broomhilda on my pilgrimage like Django. Bars. I eat a bowl of navy beans a day that make my skin glow. Sometimes I'd be ashamed to mix a lot because I'm so sinful. The sidewalk is my prayer rug. I got so much to repent for. Pacing back and forth again. Racing back and forth again. Trying to beat trying to beat the cage when i plug my natural force back to the source you'll be amazed i do this for the mock de christ messiah and the slaves a million ways to raise the dead now let me count the ways j electronica ladies and gentlemen ombre thank you so much for three thousand degrees and quick rap history lesson, the whole degree situation is a New Orleans thing. So Juvenile was first, he had 400 degrees. And then Lil Wayne on the Carter Three had 1,000 degrees. And we have Ombre, New Orleans native, with 3,000 degrees. Okay, three classics in a row. Ombre, I love you. I cannot wait to see you live again. I hope to hear more of your songs because I really want to hear some of the songs from Pulp live as well. Um, Yeah, I'm enjoying though just being on the scene and having you pop out and getting your flowers i love 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 that the crowd goes crazy when you come out i hope you feel that energy i hope you hear us singing the words even though you have like a low whispery sexy voice i hope like you know you feel what we're giving you because we appreciate it okay i've seen some of your fans backstage they was happy they was pumped all right so just keep on with the good work also you're very nice and unproblematic online which is key because some people like, I love, love, love their music, and then I follow them online because I'm trying to support, and then they act crazy, they talk crazy, they're bullying the fans online. Like, oh, you're not, y'all not playing my stuff enough. Y'all not going hard. Where y'all at? Mm -hmm. Like, please. So, you know, I'm very happy to be a fan of a person that is just nice and benevolent and, you know, I don't want to say humble because fuck being humble, but just being like regular and being chill. I appreciate that in a world of people that are like, you know, acting ungrateful for the fans that they do have. So, um, I feel like you're going to be around for a very, very long time. I cannot wait, like I said, to see you live again. And 3,000 degrees. Go stream it, download it, buy it, go online, buy some merch. Okay, support, support, support. Follow me on social media i'll put some up subscribe to this channel thank you um tiktok all right i almost got a thousand followers on tiktok we had like 900 and three 904 help your girl out follow me on tiktok thank you as i said go support ombre be a fan and i'll see y'all next time thank you so much for watching please leave a comment and tell me your favorite song bye